Good evening guys, how you doing? Yes, I'm in there as well. Uh, I hope you're well. I'll get, I'm getting everything sorted out at the moment. Um, so yeah. What a week. What a week. Right. Uh, Facebook, post it. That's all you got to do. Just post it, Facebook. Um, oh yeah, I've got to do this as well. Uh, Self-promo. There we go. Yep, we're there. Um, and I think there's one more. i got to check the monetization. How are we all doing? Put down how your status is in the comments, and I shall read them in the chat, sorry. I shall read them in a second. I shall get this show on the road. So I'm a bit early tonight, actually. 7.30, I said, but... Yeah, just running a bit behind, but earlier than normal on a Thursday. Right. Okay, I think that's done on that. No, it's off. Why has it gone off? It's not saved it. Why hasn't it saved it? That's just doing my head in. Okay, now it's saved it. <sighs> Typical bloody YouTube doing my head in. Right. Okie dokie, so let's get in. So, who have we got? We've got Daniel. Good evening, Daniel. I hope you are well. Zoo, hello. How, how are you? Uh, only me, hello. Jack and Bradley, the um, the um, the back cave specialist. How are you all doing, guys? Carl, good evening. Chomping cheesy beans. Ooh, a bit too much fibre for me. I'll be there going... There's already enough wind down here blowing around. Don't need any more. So, yes, this week uh, my mum went back into hospital. So it's been kind of crazy and stressy. Um, and hopefully she's out tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, there's just a load of stuff going on and it's just more stress and everything. So, yeah, I'll try and make it a good stream tonight. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, don't do that. Oh, why has that done that? some strange reason in the light bar underneath my um in one of the playstation grooves where the usb sits the uh there was a usb cable stuck actually in the light bar sort of thing it shouldn't have been in there good oh you've had your um hi jeff the dude you've had your jab today haven't you bradley is that your first one so are you now 5G compatible and um, running swimmingly with Microsoft Series X on your uh, in your bloodstream, sir? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely hope so that she's uh, going to get well. You're first. I have my second one next week, um, which is which is really good. So. Uh, Yes. So, as per usual, the normal train sim will bug for that. I thought to really log that, really. You both, oh, Zoo, you've had both yours. Oh, that's cool. 
Microsoft can track you and your arm's going to fall off. I tell you what, sometimes if if you knock it, it sometimes it will feel as though it will. Right, anyway, so, yeah, she's hopefully coming home tomorrow. So, um, again, I'm not sure. I'm not causing it. It's not going to be a habit. I'm not sure how I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. You've had the Oxford AstraZeneca one. Yeah, that's what I've had. Um, so, yeah, you get your second next Thursday, Carl. Oh, that's good. Right, so, tonight... It's Lucky Dip Thursday. Lucky Dip Thursday, if you're not sure. Hi, Flipper. Lucky Dip Thursday is basically, I don't have anything planned. And I have a bag here. And in here, in here I have 23 routes. Because that's how many routes there is on uh, Trains in World. 23 at the moment. Although, if a Rosalini comes up, I won't be doing it. Sam Patch as well. Clinchfield I may well, but Sam Patch and a Rosa Line, no. Okay. Um, well, it depends whether I can get some... Uh, depends whether I can do a SEHS in here. So, we'll see. If I pick it out, we can do it. It's a lucky dip. So, yeah. So, the first route, as I'm fondling my bag, or inside my bag even. That's just so wrong. You got a snowrunner the other day. I... I, what was it? The other one was Mud Runner. I know a lot of people think think it's all right, but uh, just not for me. <sighs> oh, hello! First route, first route, actually, and I'm really impressed with this one. Ooh, that is my. No, I'm not farting. That's my chair. You won't clip that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right so i've done no washing today not washing up sorry and i forgot to put my water heater on so um yeah it's currently warm in here i've got my hoodie on and i'm like sweating my ass off i'll only put the water heater on for about half an hour to an hour um right okay so the first route I always get it mixed up for Ryan Ruhr Austin. It is, in fact, Ruhr ignored. That's the first one I pulled out. So, um, Ruhr ignored journey. Um, what did I do yesterday? I did a freight run yesterday, didn't I? Uh, passenger. Hagen to Segan. Should we do Hagen to Segan? Uh, hi guys, Hennis. How are you, man? Can you, did you see my comment reference TSW twenty twenty update? What for? For the um. That would have been for the blue circle cement or circle cement um, thing. I don't, I don't think I saw your comment. Is this in the live street? The the um, what do they call it? The um, the roadmap. I think that's what the update was for. You think Segan to Hagen? Yeah, I've done that one. I got silver for that. Let's do RE16 Segan to Hagen hat ban off. Because I like running into Hagen from the yard area, from from up up north. So we're going to do that one. Right. So hold on one second. I'm going to take my hoodie off because I'm hot. Bear with me. Good evening, Amala. Sorry, I'm going to put the headset back on in a minute. I'm only using the headset at the moment, not the boom mic. I really do, really do need to put a bit of three-in-one oil on this uh, this chair. Let's do my head in. Right, okay. You're in. Oh, did you? Um, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I think I've been notified. Oh, I might have seen it. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. 
Hi Evan, how are you? Ah, uh, you're never late. Right, so yeah, I, I ran this one yesterday. So I take controls of the semi-fast service that originated at Siegen and operate it through to the destination at Hagen. So in um, Train Sim 2021, there is actually a Hagen to Siegen route. But I think it's a little bit longer than what this one is. I'm actually going to do a video on one soon. Oh, what time are we? 6.35 in the morning. And we, what are we in? Were we in a 112? I didn't see that, damn. What are we in? Eight, isn't it? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh, we're in a 143. Now, the 112s do run down here. Because I had one yesterday on one of these trains. So, um... So we're going to Hagen. So, it seems as though we're all sorted. I'm actually going to... Because, unfortunately, you can't operate... You can't operate the, um... The destinations from the um from the uh you know what i mean the uh the cab inside the uh 143 apparently train sim has um the big boy being released and train sim world uh, dtg stream is that tonight so i might look at that um oh, turn it on first boy uh, I might look at that later tonight before when I, when I go to bed. Come on. Come on. Turn it on. If in doubt. Uh, well, we're not far from the Schaffenberg. It won't be that one. Hagen. There we go. You mean to tell me there's a cupboard to store in a, a megaphone in there? What's that? Uh, where's, the, where's the doorway? It's a doppelstock, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Right. So we stop. What's on that? I'm sorry, I'm going to check. Okay. I can't even get up the bloody platform now. Well, duh. Right. Should we try that again? Without falling off the platform. Right, okay. Let's get started. Right. No, I don't. Go away. I thought they were supposed to be doing this. Hopefully they'll change that for uh, rush hour. I've got remind me I've got to turn the train lights on as well because it looks like they ain't on. Is this a one one two or one four three on the other end? That's one four three. Boring. Go through the door. Right. I might as well shut that. Ooh. There we go. Right. Headlights on. Instrument lights on. Uh, that one. And that one. Um, I think we're okay. Um, the brake key doesn't work anyway. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's go. You know why? Because I haven't released the brakes. There she goes. Where is the... I, uh... Ethan ah it's okay Evan are you actually going to buy F1 2021 oh nice
I think the passenger lights should be on now, shouldn't they? There they are. So yeah, yesterday I was running a... Can't remember what surface it was. It's a bit quiet in here. <laughs> I was running, um, it was uh, 10 Habins wagons and 10 uh, TU steel wagons, covered steel wagons. It was about F1 2021. Excellent. Good evening, Nasta. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hi, Tarek. I really should pay attention to the screen, really, shouldn't I? Hopefully no spads tonight. Touch wood. Massively speeding. Yeah, I know. There we go. Remember, I've got to release the brakes as well. While well, I remember, and then it should power up again. There we go. Right. So yeah, I had the um, rally on. Habins wagons and the um, TTU wagons on a freight yesterday and there was a 112 that passed up on another freight hi Bruce train sim you got a premiere at 8pm uh, I'm a little bit busier at 8pm What time is it for me? Uh, 1952 ish. Ooh, what am I doing? Blaze Rail. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can I can leave I can um I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Looking f well, yeah, looking forward to that and the Dresden and Risa route and, and the American route to be honest. It'd be interesting to see if there's any um update to the uh to scenario designer and livery creator. Be interesting to see if they get an update. Yeah, first main steam out of the year for well, so there'll be a lot of people out for it. But my Facebook page, my Facebook page is getting a little bit what you call it. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Ah, oh, you donut! Come on, it's all right. This will be fine. We can accelerate. Come on. There we are. I broke instead of uh, thingy. <laughs> I 
don't come. Have some fun on the uh, um, East Coast way. Watch the uh, watch the latest train sim journeys video that I released on Wednesday or oh, Monday. Basically, I do the Brighton mainline run from Br uh, Brighton up to London, Victoria, in a twelve car three seven seven. Might shove up to the hundred. We'll be stopping in what four and a half K. Scotsman's going all oh, going all over the place, isn't it? Is the audio okay for you guys? So this is the first route on tonight's uh, stream. It is the Lucky Dip stream. Paddington to Oxford. Be nice to get up to Reading to see it, but yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Also had a nice little run in a um, eight car four six five the other day as well. I quite enjoyed that. So with all the shenanigans going on this week, I never managed to um, do any uh, video recording. So that is a must for this weekend. Good evening, Whitney. That's better. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that I'll be going off to Reading. I just want to do a couple of bits at Reading and that this year. Probably do Eastley, but again, it's all down to employment status, whether I get anything after August or not. I'm looking at a few ideas and that, so yeah. Getting rich through YouTube isn't working. Yeah, I think I've got that somewhere. I have got the 377 sound pack installed. It's not installed. I have got it. I've just got to um, get it installed. Oh, yeah, definitely Mancunian. I did see that the other day. Um, they've updated the cell a bit as well. They've they extended it, apparently. I've almost missed the station as well. 112 just passed you. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Damn, I've got to be going to ro using Roblox instead. The thing is, a lot of the time we're trying to make a lot of money. You've got to figure out if you think that you're going to um, to a degree instead of going out to work you sit there and you make videos. You've got to make sure that those videos are earning you money enough 
to clear what you get paid roughly a day in your normal day job One four three. It's it's no good like saying to your boss, "That's it, boss. I've had enough of you." You whatever, and then basically walking out, and then you do. Oh, leaves are falling, um, and then basically, a you got to be earning enough money to cover you. A bright pink one one two. Jack, what have you been doing? Hmm. This is taking its time. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do that. I know some guy who, who does Formula 1 videos, um, he moved over from Australia, um, he bought his, um, I don't know whether the house is, but he's bought himself, uh, he's bought himself an Audi R8 and he's doing quite well from it, um, there's another guy called Super GT, he's, um, he makes money off of YouTube, he makes an awful lot of money, um, yeah, so, you know. T and Met Marduk is the Formula One guy. Um, so yeah, there are there are people. You know, you got people like PewDiePie or PewDiePie, whatever his name is. I don't, no, I don't care. So there are, there are a lot of people that do it. You know. Where are we stopping next? Word all. Word. Yeah, yeah. I know someone that makes um, a fair bit of money on certain on a certain website. One four three. So we should see what's on the um, uh, what's on the um, convoy as well. The loca, the power move. <laughs> oh my god love it absolutely love it oh the Union Pacific Big Boy Review excellent Yes, I shall be watching that later tonight. <laughs> right, so next stop is Wordle, five kilometres away. Let's get going. Go somewhere where you can get some freight. I haven't got a Cifer on, have I? Oh, sounds better. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, 
You're not looking. Why are you not looking forward to Saturday? What's my opinion on Hamburg to Lübeck? Um, it's not bad. The hell was that? That was the uh, what you call it coming down. That was the um, pantograph moving down. I think. I'm kind of hoping it is. It's okay. It's a, it's a nice route. Easty. That's got freight. Plenty of it. It is a nice route. But I find the scenarios boring. Um, yeah, I don't think much of the scenarios. Still got to finish them as well. <laughs> Yeah, it does. There's certain bits on it that need fixing. Um, running last night, it seemed a bit okay, to be honest. With the frame rate, I didn't really have a problem. But there again, did cut East Junction, yes. So you get the freight liners and that running around the old uh, curve off to Oxford. I'll better start slowing her down. Better start slowing her down, big style actually. Oh, see you later then. Rhine Ruhr, Austin and Ruhr Signaled are um, literally the same. They literally can be joined next to each other, but they can't, if you know. I'll just do it that way then. Our new model bus. Jack, you'll be on your feet all day. Yeah. I know that feeling. It was on a more day today. So yeah, if you're just turning up tonight, it's Lucky Dip Thursday. Well, I'll, there's someone at work who thinks he's going to go back to his home country for the summer. But he, he doesn't want the jab. He's not had the vaccine, and he's not going to, apparently, so he says. And I said to him tonight, I said, yeah, but you want to go back to the summer f to see your family. And I said, how are you going to go back there with no, no COVID passport? I said, you know, I said, you, you, if you're going abroad, you, you've, got to have, you've got to be vaccinated. I said, you can't go abroad if you're not vaccinated. Take the brakes off, Tony. get punched okay that's a, that's cool Mac you need red I'll see you later take it easy 
Hi, my new model bus. How you doing? Right, next stop is Let Math. Le Math. Have a quick. Damn. I missed the tunnel. COVID. It's just basically. Um, you can even have it on your app. On your, if you've got an NHS app, it will tell you that you've had both. You've had both jabs, and you can use that as a COVID passport. But a, you've got to register the app. You've got to know what your NHS number is. So um, yeah. Yeah, something about the Great Great British Railways. I like, just put it as British Rail, basically. Nothing wrong with that name. Great British Railways. Sounds like something like bloody that bloke would do. No. You have to be vaccinated to have both both vaccinations. <laughs> GWR. Yeah, I'm not exactly gonna go Southwestern Railway, am I? Shouldn't do, just turn it off in the background. Yes, bringing back the double arrow. That's what we want. A couple of arrows. That is so hard to do in train uh, livery creator. So what do you think the next route will be? Oh, guys, also, let's go out here quickly. If we can... We need, when they come to do Rurse Ignored, we need to pressure Adam Sod Beaching. We need to pressurise Adam to get services added going to this um, this power station. We need coal trains. You can you can walk in. You can go walk all the way up to that power station. So we need basic. Basically, we need coal trains in there. WCW. What's WCW? Southwestern has good stock. What? Four five five and four four fours. They're four five oh sorry. They're rubbish. La Math, twelve kilometers, come on. It's a bit of a run. So there here we're here. There's the power station and you can actually walk all the way down through there. In down down to here. So surely they can get a couple of timetable services in there with a DBBR BR two oh four. Um so where are we stopping? We are stopping the math at the top there. Wow. And that's where that single coach train goes to. Isla, is the John or something like that? Goes there. They regularly run there. Oh, a couple of steel train, steel wagons in there. God, it feels so slow. World Card Wednesday. Michael Portillo, that's the one there, Evan.
so it could do 80 or it will do 81 because it's going down here that's why do we want the window open Oh, okay. You're not going to hang around then? I don't know. I, don't know. I was just wondering if I smell tonight or something. Network South East would be awesome. No, it wouldn't be. So the other thing is as well, because my mum's not been in hospital for three days, I'm not allowed to see her because basically COVID. Yep, that is being looked at. There is a fix for that. So that is coming. Yeah, I, I've got um, I've got a post on DTG's technical forum, and loads of people are posting in it. This one full free. No one one twos today. Nice one, Evan. I think Great British Railway is a crap name. British Railways, it should be. Drop the great. We know we're great. You know? We're even better. We're excellent British Railway. No. Good evening, Johan. It's like renaming Johan to Great Johan Trains. It's just not right. Hi Grant. Yes, uh no I don't know. Bradley You recently been driving the class sixty six freight loco and the brakes automatically engage. Is this something to do with not pressing the demo? Not unless you decided to put the DSD on. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, Johan. Bradley, would you be able to help out Grant at all? Ah, oh, that's a 185. Shaky cam will work on that one. If you've put the AWS on as well, and you've not activated, you've not um, tapped the A, you know, Q button or circle button or whatever it was, um, then yeah, the brakes will go on. If you've not tapped it in time, then yeah.
also make sure your brakes are fully off as well Three point three kilometers to Lemma. No worries, we aim to help if we can. Yeah, rapid transit is nice, just don't do the S six services just yet. There is a patch inbound for that as well. I'm I'm uh, the math. Yeah. I always take my own before I go out anywhere. Like the night before, I'm down Asda picking up their lovely sandwiches. All Tesco's. They're not too bad. By the way, YouTube, that's not a product placement. So there is, over the next few months, hopefully, another series coming to my video releases, but it will release under Trains in World Shorts banner. And you're thinking, what is it? Let's go railway and then in the art. Oh, nice. Right, just coming into the uh, math. I think when I was coming down this one last night, I think it was raining, wasn't it, Bradley? Tesco sandwiches are better. Ah, they're not bad. <sighs> I also like a Gingster's chicken and mushroom slice as well. <laughs> Partial to one of them. Wow. Just 
don't think this route was done when they're in the progress of reconstructing some of the stations on here. I just let it slow down, really. Um, Nah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Pepper State. I also did a run with the ice. Was it the ice or the four two? I did something. I run with something the other day. More than likely, they'll do the Riviera line. Um, and then that'll start everyone off saying, we need this, we need the Flying Scotsman, we need this, we need Tornado, we need this, we need Black Prince, we need the US Big Boy, we need this French one, we need this German one, and it's just like, it'll be a never-ending thing. Do I think liveries will change? Um, so have they re have they re um, renationalised the uh, the railway? Then I mean they should never ever have privatised it in the first place. You want a merchant navy? Yeah, you see, I know Ben would love a merchant navy loco. And next stop is Hagen at 7.26, 11 kilometres. Let's set the AFB to 100. Whoop the old... Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll just whoop it to 90. Took the brakes off. One of the early morning commutes. They won't do that. But they won't get the license for it. For a fact, they will not get the license for that. That will cost them, in the process of probably hundreds of thousands for a license. Yeah. The natural blue make a comeback. Large logo blue. There'll be some people that won't like it, but oh well. Privately running it like this, it is, it just puts so much, so much money back into the railway. No, sorry. Privately running like they are, it just takes takes it away. You know, they're owned by BR three six three. You know, m majority of companies that owned them were f overseas. And all the money was going back to them. I mean, Freightliner now are owned by Americans. EWS are now owned by Germans. First group, yeah. 
but there again we've got MTR. I think the only thing I like about Southwestern is the liveries. 8.3 kilometres to go to Hagen, Hatbanoff. And then we're going to take a trip up to the yard. Oh, hello. Pan cam. This is a lovely route, it really is. <laughs> Hong Kong. MTR Group, Hong Kong. Over the next couple of months, we'll see how they get on. So we lose a south. I wonder if they'll have the double arrow symbol on, on, on the locos, on the trains as well. But that doesn't affect the freight companies, though. It's only the passenger companies, I believe. So who's already reached Hagen then? Govia, I think, are American. I'm not 100%. Not on the approach to Hagen. I love this approach to Hagen, though. It's awesome. Right, I want to look around here. One, one, two, look. There you go. You can always tell because it'll have the destination in the back working. It doesn't work on this one. So yesterday when I went into the yard with that freight working, the power move consisted of 6143... No... Three one four threes and three Raylian one eight fives. Where's my blooming tank wagons? I nearly said it. One five five, look. I did that yesterday, and I thought it was going to crash. Three six three. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Oh, no, no, no. This is the bit over here where I did 140 across the point work yesterday instead of uh, um, 40. I did, a, sorry, 114 kilometres an hour across the point work taking the freight lonely line. So currently 5.6 kilometres away from Hagen, which means we're up the top here. That's pretty awesome. Now we're 5.7 kilometres away. Uh-huh, that worked well, didn't it? Now we're back to 5.6. So Jack, what's on your um, power move? And Bradley, who wants a HBL collectible guide? Ooh, nice. So you get in the Train Sim World downloads uh, links. <laughs> oh, it gets everywhere, Jack. That is awesome. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> you never worked ages ago. Oh. Bloody hell, Bradley. Yesterday you spadded, now you've nebworthed. Cheers, Bradley. It's nice when you come in here and you see all this lot here. Hello, what have we got there then? 1 4 freeze. That's the one that runs that is the John. It's 155 there, look. Never noticed that before. It's the first time I've ever seen a 155 there. Oh, I better start slowing down, haven't I? Well, that'd be a bit late. Time to shove the anchor out. Oh, 
I'm not going to hit the 14, that mark. Overshoot. Oh, I did. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm going to take a little walk up the yard. So feel more than free to uh, join me. Before I get onto the next route, I will go down and get another drink as well. I've never seen that one fight, um, a loco park there where the 155 was. Never done seen that before. Wonder if that runs out as a light engine then. You may have to go and investigate that. She had a 112 on it. Oh, nice. I've only had the BR 1855 on there once since I've had main, uh, Russ ignored back in Trains in World 2. That was a few weeks ago. Oh, hello. How do we do? 5625, 61 kilometres, and we got silver again. Yes, at 12. Does it go out of 12? Really? Right, so how you do these, basically you press continue and you, if there is say like another train in the station, you want to see where that is going and drive that, just click return to free roam. This leaves at 7.40, so it's here for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you find your door and you leave like a tree. So normally we'd have the one, the units that run on the Ruhr Sig, um, Ryan Ruhr Austin coming up onto there as well. So it would be nice that because we've got this, the extra layer is added so that it does it. But of course, no, you can't do that. Scenario creator, you can, but yeah. Right, so so we're going for a little five minute walk. Excuse me, coming through. I did close those doors. It take us five minutes anyway. Nice to occasionally come in and see a loco sitting there, but hey ho. Dunk. So that one five five moves out at twelve o'clock then, really? I've never ever what, as a light engine or on something? One on there. Re Get out. Are you having a laugh? I wonder if it's an AI service. This is the first time I've ever seen it there. Services scheduled to start at 8.45. Right, I'm going to make a note of that. I wonder if it goes off down towards... I'm pointing this way. Down towards the way we're heading, that we're facing. Okay, so that's it starts at twelve forty for eight forty five. 
Oh, what are you doing? Nah, just eight forty-five. Was one at twelve? I did not know that. Well, you know what that means, don't you? Oh, how do I get out? Get off. Right. Right. Have a quick look. See what leaves the station, or see what the... Uh, I suspect it mainly will be the 155. At 0845, wasn't it? Right. That bloke there walking across there saying, oh, another bloody BR112. God, yeah. Oh. So we say 0845, so BR155. Click that. There's nothing there that leaves at 0845, look. This requires a little bit more further. We're going to go into summer with this. Oh, deep, sorry. Oh, 840 and we'll scramble up to the yard I shall look at this um, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow probably not um, because my my mum will be back hopefully tomorrow. If she's not back, if she's not home, then I'll I'll stream. It will be Red Dead. Um, because it's not fair. I want to spend a bit of time with her and that. See how she's getting on, and everything. Guy on the phone's going. Yes, yeah, just another BR one one two, mate. It's nothing special. Right, let's go. A bit windy outside tonight. Any anywhere near you? It's windy at all. Oh, nice. Well, that's a BR one 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 four three on that. That looks like a one eight five. I wonder if he goes to. What's a BR three six three?
if you don't mind waiting around for three minutes. Good evening, Alex. How are you? I hope you are fine. This way I can do the old... Uh, do it that way, look. So where does this loco... Hey, where does this loco go, then? Well, let's go and quickly see what's... Um, he, won't, he won't go yet. Let's go and quickly see what's up on the uh, thingy. Oh, wrong way. Oh, too far. No black one. Ooh. Come on. Oh, we've got a 185 lead in. leading. Interesting. 143. 143. 185. Four 185s and two 143s. Okay. Okay. Right, so we're back in this one again. Second man seat. Where's the train horn? Hmm. It's 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 good because each day can be completely different. And like I said, sometimes you get the BR one eight five five if you actually have it from Ryan Austin on the back, which is pretty cool. So where are you going, Mr. 1A? I reckon he goes south down here as a light engine move. But it's like I said to Bradley, it's like when you bring these freight trains in on this time on the Ruhr Signal time ta timetable, it's a shame that they didn't cut they didn't cover the freight train. Did someone just sit in this? No. It's a shame they didn't cover the freight train timetable from Hagen onto the Rhine Ruhr Austin branch, if you know what I mean. Just wet. Oh, we've been okay. We've had a bit of rain, but yeah, not a lot. Yeah, I was talking, chatting to Bradley yesterday about it. Just thinking it would be nice that we actually had that. Where the where the trains come in here, they stop, and then basically, if you're on Rhine Ruhr Austin, freight trains sort of kind of work the same way. But you leave them from Hagen going off down to uh, to Wuppertal. So eight forty four. So it'll probably leave about eight forty six. Hey, evening. How do you get in here? Teleport. Oh, okay. Oh, this just got stranger. So guys, where do you think we're going to end up? Well, be China. Ooh. 
wonder if it's an AI move. I wonder if... No, they've got both locos on, haven't they? slowing down because you can't get access. Hey, where are we going? Does he actually know where we're going? Did he get permission? If that was me, I'd have spat it. We go out on the empty logs. Well, he didn't wait long, did he? What about brake check? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool how that happens. <laughs> right, okay. So, we found out what happens to that service then. Right, lucky dip time. What route do you reckon? Right, I'm showing you the route now on the screen. Waving the ticket around in my hand. And I will tell you what the route is when I come back from after um, getting a drink. List down what you think it is. You'll enjoy it. Just going down to get a drink and I'll be back. I need to turn the water heater on as well.
Daniel says East Coastway. Bradley says, well, Safi's high speed. Arsenal fan says Safi's high speed and TGV. Well, I've got to say, none of you are right. It is actually Hamburg Lübeck, said the creaky chair. Hamburg and Schle that one. Um, RE8 1148 11418 Hamburg to Disappointed. Yeah, you because you can't do it, can you? Well, will it crash or not? Am I running Hamburg to Lübeck or Lübeck to Hamburg? I think it's Hamburg to Lübeck, isn't it? Hmm. It's weird because I've only put that. I only put that one in there tonight. Um, because I forgot to put it in there last week. The sun's stable, so who knows, yeah. Ah, running Hamburg to Lübeck. Touch wood, I've had no problems with it. Good evening, Adam. How are you? I hope you are okay, and welcome to the stream. Right, well, I've got frame counter on for this, because this will be a laugh. And we are in the BR one one two, so we can do. It's it's slightly different, isn't it? So we got the old uh, yoink up there. They don't work. Train power should be on. Train lights. We'll stick them on anyway. We're thirteen oh five. Paragraphs should be up. 
Oops, excuse me. Circuit breakers on. Um, let's just check them. Oh, I've got hiccups. Are they on? They're on. Right. So we get a go in there. I think we'll have a that. I'll have a there for that one. Nice little Christmas tree there. And the other one, we'll stick her down the far end. And why isn't she on there then? Right, okay. Back in the one. Um. Um, interesting. Are we on yet? So we've got no lights on. Oh, I'm not even going to bother. Sort it. That's their problem to sort out. Um, put her in first gear. And let's go. Take the brakes off. Do the brake key, which there isn't one... Why am I still moving? I ah, guess what I forgot to do. Dry fruit. Oh, come. Didn't make it. Bad old slope, platform 7, 1329. Shall we disappear now? Yeah, my brake issues as well. I'm not on the road map. <laughs> right, so we've got a 37 mark, 37 kilometre run to Bad Older Slow. And then I think we'll do the Lubeck run as well after that. Was that representative of me at my, my brake issues or yours, Bradley? Okay, Evan. What's 
fuss going on about now? They're not going to do any extension for it. If they do anything for the Great Western Express, it will probably... They've got to redo the whole route. That's what they've said. They've got to... Because it's changed so much. And Jack will tell you the amount of different times that there's... Um, there are... St uh, <coughs> stabling... Um, That was a one four three. No one 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 two. The, the amount of stabling points there are um, along the route now. So working on the Great Western Express. No, they aren't. It'd be so nice to actually see a revamped version. Yeah. Exactly. If they redid the route, like they, you know, like they said, oh, with, with Sandpatch. I mean, obviously, Sandpatch for Great Western Express, uh, Sandpatch for Changing World Two. They've had to, they had to do it. You know, they've they've rebuilt it. Oh, they modelled it, you know, whatever it is, and they've added extra bits to it, whatever. But it would be nice that they actually did that to Great Western Express, but they did it as a whole new route, which they would have to do anyway, um, all the way up to Oxford. It would be awesome. It'd be brilliant, but they're not going. They're not doing it. It's not in their plans to do it. It's a shame. It, it really is. Those barriers don't work then. But yeah, I mean, Jack will verify that along the route between Reading and Paddington, there are several new uh, storage sidings for units. Right, so we're doing 120 at the moment. 140 will be next. Yeah, North Pole does the IET stuff. Is it IET? They do the IET servicing there, don't they?
Good evening, road, chain, road trains. How are you? Making heads for the three four fives. The three four fives are the purpley white things, aren't they? Oh, that comma is completely different now. Yeah. This is why I need to take a trip along the line in real life. Obviously, I want to. Obviously, well, like I said, I'm off on the 25th, 26th, 24th. I think it's the 25th, 28th is my birthday, and 20, 29th of June. So I'll be off on the Friday up to Eastley, um, up to Reading. Cross Liz. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Tired, stressy. Otherwise, good. I'm going to sneeze as well. Oh, dear me. Oh. Bless my little cotton socks. Right, are we expected to see any freight trains on this one? Oh, excuse me. Oh, not yet. 28th of June. 28th of June. It's my 50th and 50th, 51st birthday celebration. I would have wanted to go into London, but I'm not going to chance it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Probably just blown your ears out or your speakers out. You go to Weymouth in 28 days. Cool. I lose my job in 103 days. <laughs> so it worked out the day. Someone put it up on one of our whiteboards. 103 days to go. That'll go down to 102 or whatever. Thank you very much. There's really nothing much at Weymouth, trust me. Although, actually, I think you've got a 165 that goes down there. Right? I think. The DB182. We might see the DB182 on there. It's a lucky, it's a lucky dip one today, so... Whatever I pull out the bag... We might see the DB182 in here. Good evening, Richard. How are you? <sniffs> Welcome to the stream, sir. Ah, this is all I need. A bloody cold now. See, by the time I get everything done after the live stream today, I'll be hitting the bed about quarter to one tomorrow morning. So we're doing a stable 139 kilometres an hour. Hundred and sixty is its top speed. That's the type of thing it is. And that's its number. Your eyes are still struggling to focus properly. Uh, what have I just done? Uh oh. 
Um, why are your eyes struggling to uh, focus? <laughs> Through the old canopy. Miss that. Not sure what that was. Whoa, and we're speeding. No, we're not. Not sure. Have you had a, um, a test for diabetes, Richard? Do you sometimes feel as though you got like a film, a gunk in your eyes, sort of thing? Or your eyes like sometimes they get dry or they get really watery? You get headaches? <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> It's true though. Yeah, I work for a living for another 103 days. <laughs> um, I go and chat with your doctor. Um, hold on, mate, bro. Have a chat with your doctor, and um. Tell him about what you get. It might be that you might need to have a, a test for diabetes. Um, um, probably type 2, I'd say. But, yeah. That's if you haven't got it already. And you didn't know about it when you knew about it. Why won't this 101 move? None of the brakes are on, but it's just stood at the platform wheel spinning. Put it down to notch four, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke coming off the wheels. <coughs> okay, Ro, shoot your question. Yes. And you can use the BR-182 in it as well. Whoa! Seriously overspeed in there. Oh, I better break it, ain't I? That's the station where the barrier is in the middle of the platform, which you missed. And the BR-182, the red one does as well. This 112 is quick. It's not as quick as the BR182. That is awesome, especially when it's running light engine. This is why I will never ever get a job as a train driver in real life. Because I'd be early, then I'd spad, Nebworth, and do loads of other things. And I'd be there on the train in real life trying to find out what button hits the HUD up. <laughs> Mm. Yes, there are some liveries going to be coming to the BR-182. The Class 66, again. Um, what else? Uh, the BR-363, BR-204. Um, the BR-143 and one five five one eight five if we got the one eight five as a livery editor thingy yeah p forty five I'd still yeah and I'd smash it into the buffers <laughs> actually we haven't done Rhymer Austin for a um tap stack of Rhymer have we for a while 
if we do southeastern high speed tonight it will be a full run that i'll do with the um 395 yeah literally you got to be below 50 mark 50 kilometers an hour before you put away which i think is about notch five make sure the brake key's off as well which is this little thing here make sure that is off just walking on grass look they do like grass on their platform sometimes over in germany go on then jack don't say tgv Yes. I do have the old original do 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 put away music as well. As a ringtone. Tees Valley Light. No, we haven't. Northern Trans Pennine as well. Got to show them some love. Well, hopefully on Saturday she will be uh well enough to um and back home to pull some roots out oh better start slowing down Um, oh the galaxy tab that's um that's switched off at the moment the um it's just whenever someone posts in um discord it comes it will come up on the phone as bb8 Just basically, just if you want to just join the Discord server, because someone chopped down the old Discord channel. No, Northern Transpennine needs a bit of loving as well. If you've got, Ro, if you've got Discord, then um, join my channel. I was thinking that, actually, the, uh, yesterday, Carl, we haven't done Northern Transpennine. giving it a bit of full service mode is that a 112 or 143 that's a 112 sorry bring the brakes off a bit Palpatine in the rise, do it. Oh, look, it's a train over there. Look, what one? Hey, so where would he be going then? Right before that, before that train disappears, who is he? bad old stuff. oh this is the shuttles oh okay oh crap I've not seen any in there before 
Okay, cool. You know when you've been a bad old or slow. Come on, hurry up. I want to get going again. So the frame rate's not too bad. It's a little bit dodgy leaving Hamburg. <laughs> but, um, yeah. British Rail coming back is like Pal Palpatine in The Rise of Skywalker. Yes. So has anyone been watching Star Wars The Bad Batch lately? Oh, 1G57 to Brighton. Right, eight kilometres to Rheinfeld. Oh, okay. Rhine with Seinfeld. I'll just open the doors, you donut. Release the hounds! No, sorry, the brakes. Poor gamer, for, for some my CSX GP38 ain't go. Uh, what have you done? Have you broken it? Um, unfortunately, Paul, um, I don't know. What have you done to it, basically? We can't... Are you on the PM? You know, what system are you on? If that is aimed at me, only me, I'm actually on the PS4 Pro. Check that the isolation switches. Basically, if you're in the cab... Hold on, let me get in the cab a minute. If you're in the cab, basically, they'll be about hit here. It'll be... Is it engine run? There's, there's three... There's three, like, white switches. Like these sort of things here. There's three white switches. Make sure they're listed as though they're actually on and running. Good evening, Joseph. How are you? Six kilometres to Rheinfeld Holst. Mm. Oh dear. Excellent. Good to hear. Oh, let me just sort that out. Engine run, fuel, and generator. All three need to be on. I think as default, it's the engine run, isn't it? That isn't on by default. I know in the ECW 66, they are all three off as, de as default. I mean... You're an old regular PS4. You'll frame... frame the second numbers are usually yellow, seldom green. Um, yeah, I mean, these are mostly yellow, mostly green, sorry. Um, on here, they have dipped into the red. They do dip into the yellow. Um, most of the time, they're green. It's just the fact that this route around Hamburg, it does... There's a lot of frame rate issues. I don't know why whether it's a bit too much built up in the area which really you don't really need to see oh hello oh we are um also Hapstracker Munchen Augsburg as well is the same well that's got its own issues um oh hello better start slowing down
screen for you. Yeah, because you're on the Xbox Series digital thing. I can't remember what it's called. S, I think it is. I might be on the PS4 till next year, to be honest, the way things are going. Just can't get hold of a PS5. Someone asked me, goes, if you could get a digital one or a disc one, what would you get? I said, I'd get a disc. He said, no, no, no. He said, you want to get a digital one? He said, they're cheaper. He goes, they're the way, they're the way forward. I said, no, it's not. I said, because you've got to install the whole bloody game on it. It just doesn't interest me running running with digital. I know this is digital, and I, I prefer to have a disc, to be honest. Oh, Genfield. Okay. So where are we now? We are at Reinfeld Holst Platform 2. I like the old little thing around the old little protective barriers around the signal there. Oh come on, don't don't stop now. Don't stop now. Come on. Come on, speed selector, I need you to keep going. Don't stop. Right, remember 187 yards. Take the brakes off. I'm not stopping here, no way. Where does she go? She sat down. Whoa, she's all over the place, that woman. It's witchcraft. If you've got a keyboard fitted, then it's F3. So if you have a USB keyboard, you can plug it in. Yeah, definitely, definitely on that, Carl, I agree. Good evening, Vojtovo. That's if it's right, I do apologise. And thank you for subscribing, it's really appreciated. Really, really appreciated. How are you doing and welcome to the stream. Bradley, what have you done? You've spadded, haven't you? Either that or you've nebworthed. I'm more than likely thinking you've spadded. So do you have um, Train Sim World? Lubeck at 13.47. We're not that far away. Tony, release the brakes. Release the hounds at uh, brakes. I just love to shove, shout, shout that through a tannoy system in a shop. Release the hounds! Nearly Nebworth because of crap these crap brakes. What brakes are you, are you driving the one for the one one two? So am I right in saying Vodj Vodstavo? You could be Czechoslovakian by any chance? Or as they usually say my, my mate's Czechoslovakian. And he says check all the time. The one one two. Yeah, the brakes are a little bit iffy, aren't they? Twelve KLA to Lubeck. So Ro, we do pass the Lubeck yard on the way here as well, so there may well be uh, BR182 in the yard, if I remember rightly. Thank you. It's appreciated. I can't believe I've nearly done 200 live streams, actually. 
that's an awful s a silly amount come to think of it I mean they, they did were you watching the roadmap on Tuesday Bradley It's it's pretty interesting how what they said about it. They said basically they don't know what happened because the the route was tested. So whether it's something where obviously it's in their thing where they process the route or whatever where it's gone wrong in between like going from the test version into a what you call it version, I don't know, but they said they've got no clue and it's under internal investigation why? Now that's what they say whether it does or not, I don't know we can only we can only believe what Sam says, you know they'll find, they'll obviously find hopefully find out anyway I have a Playstation Pro I have two this is this the one I'm on now is my streaming one and the other one in the other room is the one that I usually play other games on like COD um, Elite um, and some of the other ones but I, I've got a few games on here that I play Wreckfest Mafia Elite again on here Tram, uh, Mass Effect um, I've got crap loads of games Stick it in the back cave, Bradley. I I don't I don't know. I'm, oh, what have I done? Driven 112 kilometres in the 112 and uh, got a trophy. That's that big black thing there that's just appeared. For some strange reason, when you're doing a uh, thingy, it doesn't. Um, when you live stream it doesn't show um, the trophy information yeah I don't know I'm, I'm not sure but there again I wouldn't be surprised that they did I think it was obviously two teams that worked on obviously the train obviously it is because it's, it's different departments but I think both teams worked alongside each other to a degree on the the, the um, Rice Dresden route for Train Sim and Train Sim World. So they've obviously worked, got both, you know, the the, the same um, um. they've obviously got like the same details for the um oh what do they call it the uh building textures and everything you have a ps4 slim oh nice so i have a feeling they worked they developed the route together both teams They've still got obviously a couple of months left of development time and, and that for for you know getting orders together and everything so and it, it'd be really good to see what the Rysa Dresden route with Dispatcher is actually like So that's one that I am really, really looking forward to. I don't know. Not really bothered about multiplayer, to be honest. Multiplayer isn't one of the things that I'm interested in. I'll be interested in Steam. Oh, what are you doing? There you go. I'm interested in Steam. Um, so we are approaching the route, the, the route, the map. 
the the yard. I will slow it down a bit actually. Take it down to sixty. You get sixty frames a second. To be to be honest, Ro, I seriously think multiplayer is a complete waste of time and effort. I don't see the point in it. Look how multiplayer came happened. What look what happened to trains when multiplayer came to that? It just killed it. So we've got stock in the yard. There you go. So we should have a 60 limit after this. Or approaching a 60 limit. I can't see. So there's an intermodal train in there as well. What's he on? So there's a BR182. We have seen one there. I think they substitute in for the black ones as well. Why don't I use CIFA? I I do occasionally. Um, I've got to learn the uh, the um, uh, the signaling system. Not the signaling system. It's the uh, it is the signaling system. I've got to learn that. And it will be something that I do occasionally. Is there a... There's a BR-182 there? On a... Intermodal? So that's the other thing as well. When we get the, the, the Reiser-Dresden route, we also... As well as the Hamburg-Lubeck, we also... The, the Hamburg... The... Hamburg Sud Hapag Lloyd signals, we all the uh, containers, sorry, we also get the uh, pink Ocean Network Express ones. So that there is the MRCE one. Oh, and we got the uh, oh, that's the um, thingy, isn't it? The 101. Oh my god. There we go. Release everything. And it should start up again. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll learn it at some point. To be honest. I'm just not in a hurry at the moment. There's a couple of locos around here then. Well, I'll be just short of you. 7,097. Where's his train in World 2? I just... I don't think multiplayer is a good idea. And it's only the community that keep pushing it. Because basically... It's strangely enough, it was Adam and Matt back in the day when they were talking about multiplayer adam asked matt if multiplayer was coming and, and matt turned around and said yes we're planning on doing multiplayer and of course as with the editor that's gospel now even though his business plans change and um yeah hey bradley we got a gold 
Let it rip. And we're on level 300. So, yes, broke 300. Yay! Right, return to free roam. That's scheduled to go out in about 19 minutes. That's good because I won't be driving it. Oh. Ah, oh, the BR 182 is leaving. Oh well. Can't do anything about that. That's a shame. But, um, yeah. So we've got a train due in, actually. What time is this due in? I'm not going to wait for it. I love the German clocks. I've got, actually got one of those for, um, not a DB one, but like a station clock. 2138. 1438 is off to Hamburg. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a shuttle service back. I quite like that. You are here. There you are. Nice little area this, isn't it? Oh, wow. You can go out here, look. There you come. So that leaves at about 1700 something. Oh, 1637. That just sits there. Let me in. It doesn't have the thing on there yet. That's pretty cool. Right then, so what will the next route be? Bastard, I've been after one of them in ages. Good evening, David. Off, how are you? No, d road trains. It's tonight is a lucky dip. So basically, I have um, I have a little bag here with all 23 routes. The only routes that I won't be driving is um, Sand Patch Grade and a Rosalini. So whatever route I pull out, even though I hate TGV, I will be driving it. So yeah, it's not a request show, unfortunately. There is a time when I do do a request which is basically discord members choose the routes and i put i put a um a little post up in one of the channels which is named discord users choose the routes and basically when i put a post up in there then put a route down what you want me to drive and then basically that will happen northern trans pennine so we've got southeastern high speed northern trans pennine uh, let's see what we've got. So the old hand's going in, fondling around inside the bag. As you can probably hear. And we pulled one out. And strangely enough, it's a Rosa Liney, which we will not be playing. So... Will be a depot job. <laughs> well, I did drive the other day, you know. Right. A Rosa Liney doesn't get streamed anymore. Right. So it is southeastern high speed. And that is no that is no fix. So southeastern high speed is the next route. I need to pop next door, get some water. So I'll load that in. It's going to be a full run. Now, which way do you want me to do? Do you want me to do start of Faversham or um, uh, St Pancreas? <laughs> Bradley going, yes! We should be, yes! Be back in a second, just go go and get some water. <laughs>
Oh, that's better. Nice and warm. I want me detox. It's a fix. <laughs> it's not a fix. It's not a fix, honestly. I do this all above board. I do this all above board. There have been times when I did pull the TGV out. Well, oh, sorry, when my mum, when she draws the roots out, she's pulled the TGV out. And I'm thinking, put it back in. I thought, no, let's do it. <laughs> so, um, South Houston High Speed. Anyway, um, left the jet running. Yeah, it does a bit. Oh, by the way, he's just turned up as well. There he is. Just walked in. He's telling me how hard that his day's been, really. Okay. <laughs> right, so Jack wanted South Eastern High Speed earlier on as well, so... Yeah, well, unfortunately, the the, um, the PlayStation does sound as though it's a bit of a jet sometimes, especially when you come out of livery designer. Um, so... So Jack says it's a fix. Arsenal says Fav to St Pancras. And Bradley says St Pancakes. Come on, we've got one each. You'll do that service after this. What? Come on, I need I need a couple more people to say, what, do I start a Favisham or do I start a St Pancakes? Mine still does. Both of them does it. Actually, do it actually. Right. So Grogu is now my officially designated um, driver. Uh, we could still be doing that later. I don't know. If not, I'll have to make it up. What one? So Jack says St Pancras. Okay, so pancakes it is. Um, I've just realised I've, I've done... Have I? I've done all the South Eastern High Speed ones. The chapters. Did not know that. Oh, okay. So, um... Damn. Gonna have to do a timetable job. Uh, 395... Um, we're going to do it as it is. Right, so that means we're going to start early, I reckon. Shall we do the... Oh, it's a... What well, one have you ever actually started early, Bradley? Have you started any of these, like 458 Faversham to St Pancras? Or like 655 St Pancakes to Faversham sort of thing? Or Dover Priory? No, don't, don't go to Dover Priory. Oh God, dear. I'm tired today. Right, so we're going to do the one Foxtrot 08. Some pancakes international to Faversham. 6.55 in the morning. You've, you've done some of those. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. So I'm kind of hoping, because this was in the... Brighton mainline video, train sim journeys video that I've done, uh, which was released on Monday. There were three eight sevens, and I think a four six five approaching southeastern ones. These were approaching and leaving Victoria on the Brighton mainline route. So I'm kind of hoping that they're layered in as a factor to a degree on the uh, thingy they probably won't be because you know it's... No, I can't see it to be honest but <sighs> they probably bring the th uh, 39 foot uh, thingy to its knees how many have we got in there right alright so I'm going to go around quick no I'm not I'm going to turn it on first Put her in master. <laughs> I 
it's all going. There she is. Um. So opening the doors. So what unit are we today? We are. Uh, really? Well, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> what on earth? So we have 14 and 21. We are 23 and we have 8 and 6. Um, right, shall we uh, wait until 6.57? Oh, we got a little while. Right. Okay, and that one... I've got to get everything sorted yet because I don't think we're up. Pants are, pants is d up still. We've got no red lights, so they don't work. Well done. They broke them. Um, I've got to make sure we're on CTRL, which we are. Is it pan up shoes down? I can't remember. Lock the doors. We is open. 375s, not 387s. Yeah, sorry. Right, here we go. Take the brakes off. Did I get it? Look at that, eh? Look at that. Do you ever hit the horn on the way out, Bradley, or not? No. <laughs> do you ever wish you like went Parm! on the way out? Do you ever do it in Train Simulator though? Or in TSW? Or would that be like too much of a habit to get into it doing it there and think, oh, I'll do it here? Also, is that that build? Is that building really that close? I'd love to be the guy sat in the ground window there with his desk. Don't need it for crossings. Right, okay, that's fair enough. It's not that close. Okay. I noticed that Spurs Trains, what well, I can't remember what his name is, um, has put down that he thinks the first cross country, as in two countries together not cross country as in virgin voyages uh route will be um channel tunnel st pancras to paris I mean, you're going to be spending at least 40 minutes doing this. That's 40 minutes. Uh, 
okay actually the tunnel was a little bit bigger in real life but yeah Spurs Reading wasn't that his name not Spurs train spot Spurs Reading um, I personally don't think so to be honest So we may be running two, another two or another three routes. Don't know yet, depending on the time. It's a bit weird doing kilometres an hour and we're actually reading the distance in miles to our destination. I do that at night you might add yeah some people do that some people done all nighters big thing in the 80s and 90s I mean I'd done all night I'd done an all nighter at pool uh, went down there for 10 o'clock in the evening and um, I literally did uh, through till five six o'clock in the morning um just watching the engineering trains come through well not watching but videoing and photographing them because they used to stop at pool so you get used as they departed pool you get a nice tone from a 66 echoing across the holes bay and that is quite good got a bit cold though because about between three and four o'clock well half two and th four o'clock strangely enough especially in the summer as well Oh, crew all nighters. I've had that. She, I've actually had the crew cam on. Um, I've left it on overnight on the TV, and um, yeah, it's, it's, I get woken up sometimes by something, some something rattling across the point work and that. Good evening, Len. How are you? I'm not too bad, mate. Um, Carlisle would be a great place to go. Um, and crew. <sighs> I've done an unintentional night on Eastley. Um, because I couldn't get into a Premier Inn. So I had nowhere else to go. I missed the last train home. Which is a bit annoying. Excellent. Yeah, crew cam's quite cool. Ebsfleet, 16 miles. Good evening, Marcelino. How are you? Welcome to the stream. And uh, hello from uh, England, from Paul in England. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> 
So we're only a... I think we're only a six car, aren't we? Yes. So you hit the 225, let's go for it. Sorry, I'm yawning my head off here. I do apologise. You really need to watch your typing there, Bradley. SCJS, <laughs> -E now SCGS. -E so it tells me you're kind of missing out the H of it. I love the sound of the, like the the. the the cab, the the things vibrating in the cab, that is awesome. Oh, and me not hitting the DSD switch. <sighs> the problem is with me regarding crew cam. I do like my sleep, and especially at the moment when obviously I'm up couple of times through the night sorting her out um, so yeah it can be a bit of a pain So Ebbs, Ebbs, Ebbs fleet for 714, 13 miles. <laughs> Hello from Corey, has not seen in any CSW2 route ever. Aren't you in uh, Brighton the main line though? Brighton to London main line. Oh, well done, Bradley. I can't spell either. That's better. that didn't crack, yeah. Crikey, that's moving. I've re-edited the title. Might, might see your 387s on here, Jack. In a minute.
Though maybe not. Yeah, and there's three two. Oh, they're three eight fives, aren't they? Sorry, C two C three eight fives, or three seven sevens. I don't know. I've got a bloody book on Electrostar, so I should know. Oh, hello. I think I better start slowing down a bit. Is it will couple? Excellent. Well, it should do. They're the same coupling type. Queen Elizabeth the second bridge. Spoilers, guys. Interesting. Well, you can probably see it on the uh, YouTube page. There's a premiere on Monday on uh, uh, Journey for Train Sim Journey Train Sim Journeys that I did on the Five Circle Line. I've got to say, I quite enjoyed it in the 170, and I'm like, I got the same feeling playing that as I did playing Ricer to Dresden route thinking we should have this in Trains in World it's it's right amount it you know what I mean it's really really good you get the um, with it I think you get the 158 the 68 and the 170 or it could be the 153 I'm not sure and I was coming off the the line from our brave I think it was and um, going on to the main line between Edinburgh and Glasgow which is obviously which is all I completely forgot it was all overhead wired and everything and I was like as I was coming off I was like wow <laughs> so yeah and you go over the fourth ra rail bridge as well which is pretty cool <laughs> yeah, Bradley tries it in, in TSW and the Xbox dies. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a fan. I love it. I, I tried, I did, um, I, I did a couple of the rail cam things. I just couldn't get on with them. Uh, the, the rail cam, the rail fan mode, sorry. I just couldn't get on with them. But then I, I tried driving a 170 and I was, oh, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome, and I really do hope that comes to the trains in world. Oh, we want one pulling in as well. The Americans would love that as it's a meat. Oh, does it?
I'll hold it for two seconds. Ding! There we go. We should be ready. I've got to do the... Is it the Western route from Just Trains? Because they've done the Paddington to Bristol um, down to God knows where. Swindon, I think it is. So I've got to get that because I've already bought it. But I've got to download it again. Um, hopefully my shoes are down. Oh, they're not. Now they are. And the pant is down. Pant is down. Yep, pants are down. Oh, yeah. Locks the doors. Ouch. Now. Doors are locked. Put her in first. Do we get contact? Nicky Glove. Western Main Lines, that's it. I've got to download that. There's still some stuff for Armstrong Powerhouse, which I still haven't uh, downloaded the updates for and installed. The moment I just don't really have time to start messing about with train sim. I, I just like driving the route sort of thing. I think the routes will become like once a month at the moment after this this week. So I've got so much other stuff I want to do. And then it will give me enough time to do them. Like So, I mean, this weekend, I want to... I want to do a little bit more um, livery design. Um, and then next week, I've got to concentrate more on doing uh, the videos. Gravesend is for next. Yeah, it'd definitely be good to see we get the uh, Dover Priory services with, is it the 465s on the Brighton Main Line? Hopefully we get to see them as extra um, layers. I'll probably end up sleeping well tonight, to be honest. Is it? Oh, no, that's Cannon Street, isn't it? That do that. What's the ones that go from um, London Victoria with the 465s? Oh, okay. I got it wrong then.
and I'm back in the back cave. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Ramsgate in Dover. Ah, that's what I'm thinking of, probably Dover. Yeah, I did notice that, Bradley. Strood at 7.28. Oh, we got who? So, what's going to be in who, then? We're going to get 66s. But we might even pass a freight train, actually. Last time I came back past who, it was in the head shunt, it was the GV Rail Freight uh, Construction Livery 66. Um, then it was the the other two in the sidings were uh, EWS 66 and uh, the pink Hentis Rail 66. So, um, yeah. This is such a great route, I love it. Nah, just get your coat and go. <laughs> How strewed. Remember, we've got a toot for Bradley as well. This fanny, all dead worst. Which one was it? Oh, hello. Ew. Oh, EWS and Harry Beck. Oh, cool. So there'd only be two in there, okay. Was there anything in the head shunt? You might meet that one at Strood. Or in the tunnel after or before Strood, I think. Oh, hello. That's, that's putting everything in. Oh, what we got? That is uh, Rail Freight Grey. You're going to do it, aren't you? You are going to do it. That's the Hentis Rail one. Oh, we've got two Hentis Rail ones in there. Oh, okay. More liveries coming for the 66s at some point as well. You nearly spatted. <laughs> it's just got you got you and Harry Beck. I was like, 
He means EWS. You just need spaddies. <laughs> right. Strewed in three miles. Sorry guys, so tired today. <laughs> he does have some quality spelling going on today. I know is that. Top quality. Oh yeah, there's a. We're gonna meet the freight train, uh, the stone train in here. What did I say? Shall we try and guess what it is? And then Network South East sixty six, brilliant. That's the pink one. That was... I think that's the Freightliner one. Because it only had Ocean Network Express on the front end in black. And that's the Freightliner one. Because I've got Hentis Rail on the Hentis Rail one as well. If I remember rightly. We've got a uh, 15 mile an hour coming up as well. And a red. <sighs> the aim is that I'm going to be on for midnight, but by the sounds of it, I think it will be just after about 11.15, something like that, or 11.30. <laughs> so I need to do some washing up and I need to get my uh, my lunch ready for tomorrow. Let's see how we get on. That was close. You're so tired, yeah, I know that feeling. I think to be honest, if I manage to get to eleven o'clock, then that'll be fine. It may be that I'll just go up to eleven o'clock and finish on this one. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stream tomorrow night, uh, Friday, because basically, hopefully, my mum's out of hospital. I'll just get her ready and sorted, and I won't be able to. I, I'm finishing work early, and that also means that I'm starting work tomorrow early as well. So, yeah, I, I'm going to be up early as well. Oh, look. That's pretty cool. And look at the moon as well. Oh, wow. I wonder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get your brakes. Get your brakes. What are you doing? Oh, this has to be a shot of the century.
How's that? Oh, is that the uh, Medway one there, look? Wow, that's an awesome livery, that. Oh, Jack, you didn't. 793 was on 6x29, Crawley, Tombridge, Dressart. Oh, cool. Right, I think I'm going to be having right of way across with this one. Go. Remember, it's a 20 mile an hour limit. About 15. Good evening, Nico. Um, collector's edition. Bradley, you know what ones they are, they are, don't you? Oh, Jack. No worries, mate. I will be about tomorrow night, um, but yeah, it's just going to be talking. I'll be making sure that she's okay. So, yeah. Do you know what's in the uh, collector's edition, Jack Bradley? I can never remember. I think East Coast is in there, isn't it? Okay, Jack, you take it easy. I think it'll be Brighton Mainline first. Then it'll be Ricer to Dresden. Ah, right. So, Nico, it's... Uh, Jack says it's East Coast Way, Hapstracker Rhine Ruhr and Penn Corridor Route, as well as the London Underground... Oh, there we go. Just grab a drink. So, when this service terminates, I will be finishing the stream... because I'm pretty tired and I need to get other stuff done as well. Excellent. Cheers, guys. Davidoff, remind me and I will get to Gillingham. Well, Gillingham. It's Gillingham, isn't it? Because my mate kills me for saying Gillingham when it's Gillingham. So we are at 7.32 to Faversham and we expect it at 7.33. Not too bad. No problem. Thank you very much. Come on, train. Hurry up. Peak time. Where's all the people? Come on. Lock the doors. There we go. Warp speed. <sighs> Do 
Yeah, definitely we'll be doing uh, Brighton Mainline first. Um, and then Rice to Dresden. Rice to Dresden is just an awesome route, even on Train Sim World. Uh, train Sim, sorry. It's not very often that I actually go out and buy a German route. Um, I brought a couple of UK routes, but buying any other like a German route or American route very rarely, if at all. I think I just didn't get the enjoyment out of German routes in Train Sim than what I do on Train Sim World, and I, d I don't know why that is, but. Rice to Dresden it's just slightly different it just looks so good and so busy um, and I'm kind of hoping that how good it looks passes over to how to train sim world with a great with, with a lot more better you know it looks a lot, lot more better sort of thing um, I mean there's some definite decent views that I got with the way some of the cameras some of the stations looked when you stop at them oh we're at Chatham Come on, Bradley, where's this donkey? Jesus, that scared the life out of me. That's nice.
Gillingham Crossing, yes, definitely. Off the green and cross it one way. Come on. Come on. Just here. Ah, oh, it's already gone down. There might be a train on its way in. I'll leave it so the, the, the uh, gates go up. Ah, yes. Nice pics being posted in screenshots. So that'd be that one there, isn't it, Bradley? This one. Goes down to Chatham Docks, doesn't it? So it went down. It's that one there. Right, let's get back to the cross. I'll. I'll Leave it until the uh, what's it's come up. Sometimes, just as you stop, the everything all goes green. Right, lock the doors. Release the brakes. Give it a good dosage. Just get here. Should see it. There she comes. Yeah, sorry I didn't get them in, in time. Nothing in the sidings today. Rainham is next.
Raynham has the same thing it's signal controlled level crossing as well but as we arrive there you might see the uh, you might see the barriers go down So you've got a 465 and a 395 in there. Oh, five minutes down at the moment. <sighs> no trade bow for you. The barriers are just there. There they go. Next stop, some. Hey, what? Next stop, home. Shittingbourne. Oh, Sissingbourne, yes. What have we got on the way? Uh, well, we've got nothing coming up anyway. We might have. Got a yellow and a green, so yeah, because that'll be protected by the gate on it. The automatic signals, okay. Lock the doors. Give the kids waving like hell a bit of a two. Unless we've got something coming else. Interesting. Yeah, it happens on. Um, I know the driver's door on one of the uh, the three seven. Is it the three seven seven? Does it? One of them does it. One of the unit might be the one six five four or three. Oh, I don't know. There's one of the units that does it. Right, Sittingbourne is next, and that'll be a toot for Bradley at some point.
You'll have to tell me the two because I've no idea where it is, Bradley. I think it's off though, isn't it? Sitting ball. That's it, yeah. If you open the doors on the Class 66 and leave them there, they them speed off exactly the same. They stay open. <laughs> You're thinking, who's just coming then? Oh crap. After the building, after the bridge. All right. So you don't actually do a toot for Bradley in real life then as you pass your house. What, this bridge? Oh, forgot the... Oops. In S branch. Come on, speed up, silly sword. Evening, Eric. Uh, so, what is this being played on? 
Xbox or PS5? It's not even being played on anything. Can we get people playing PC versions as your PC makes this look like trash? Well, we're not all PC Master Race, mate. This is the PlayStation uh, PS4 Pro. Um, I'm happy with it on the PS4 Pro. For, for me, it's, um, it's easier to play on here. Uh, and to set up and stream instead of I have stream uh, OBS on my PC which plays train sim and I can't stream it just it just cannot get it to work so it's easier doing it on here I have all the DLC on here so I'm not actually going to go out and buy train sim world and then all the DLC off steam again because it just ain't going to happen See you, Evan. Take it easy, mate. At the end of the day, people can afford. People will afford what they can, you know. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that, you know. Um, Probably because um, you know consoles. You can you can get a console for what? You can buy the PS5 if you can get one for 449. You could buy a PC, a decent gaming one that will play this. I mean, my PC cost me 1300. Um, I'm sure that there are PC two for Bradley in a minute. I think it's round about here somewhere. I might have missed it. Surely, if you do um, like a YouTube search for PC version Trains in World. I missed it. <laughs> That's a toot for Bradley. Um, you know, not everyone can afford a whiz bang go PC. And then obviously you've got the streaming software to go, you know, that you can download. And you got to know how to use the streaming software, how to get that all set up. On the Xbox or the PC, all I've got to do is just press a button as long as it's got my YouTube channel stuff in there. Um, yeah, the, 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 the PlayStation 4, um, uh, yeah, they have problems with it setting up with... Um, oh, horn stuck. Um, with OBS. Um, and they, they do it occasionally with the Xbox, because um, it's easier. But... But yeah, I mean, obviously the DTG streams show 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 it off quite well, to be honest. But I don't really see a lot of difference, only graphically, between all, all three versions. Yeah, the PC version is a lot better. Um, shift and forward arrow key, up arrow key.
I mean, I'm running at the moment roughly between about 30 and 40 frames a second, which isn't bad for the PS4 Pro. And I'm streaming at 1080p. Um, if you've got keyboards, then that's how you can do it. If you don't have a USB keyboard attached, then you can't do it, Paul. Yeah, you're running 60 because you've got the next-gen Xbox. I love it how it just plunks me in the frickin' forest. Let's stop. They're not pandering the console. They turned around and said that. Possibly as well. Well, no, I don't, I don't know whether they are or not, to be honest. But at the end of the day... Oh, wrong way. They can probably end up getting more sales on a console than what they can with a P, you know, for younger kids. I think the original idea was it for it to come out on PC, but then they thought, well, we got the next gen consoles, which was then the Xbox One and the PS4, and they thought well why not put them on them as well they're just as powerful to, to use it and it will get more people interested which it has so you know you know that's that's their business model that's how they want to do it you know not everyone is going to be happy about it but if it brings more players to the um, to the game, it makes more sales. Oh no! How can you be losing AI traffic? What AI traffic are you losing because it's on console? Totally disagree with you there. Do you have all the layers and the AI traffic for Munch and Augsburg? How come Long Island Railroad? You got exactly the same what we got. Have they turned around and said they've they've cut the timetable down because of console limitation? Have they actually said that? Do you have proof of that?
14,000 of silver, Bradley. Hi -o. Have that? Yeah, but Eric, have they actually said that? Have they turned round and said that? Or is that what someone suggested that they said? Or someone thought they said? I mean, next you're going to turn around and say the reason why they don't do really long routes is because of console limitation. No, it's not. It's nothing at all to do with console limitation. So Bradley, is this one just uh, stopping at Faversham then? It's not going any further? Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not I'm not saying you have, but next time, you know, there are people that turn around and blame the consoles because the routes aren't long enough. It's all a load of bollocks. DTG have turned around and said that's not the point, that's not the truth. I mean, the fact that the consoles can actually run the Great Western Express route with the extra AI layers that weren't shipped with it originally with no problems, it goes to prove that that's a load of bollocks that it's the console stopping the AI because it's not. So unfortunately, DTG managed to break it, uh, the the little hack that we that we had, to allow us to use the extra services, and the eight and eight car HST sets on the Great Western Express route. They broke it when they put the new timetable in. So, this I'm sorry, this is just a load of rubbish. You can't blame console limitations for that. It can it can run the Great Western Express timetable, the um, the the one that's only available on the PC only, which is still in the routes for Great Western Express on the consoles. Which, like I said, they've broken since putting in the new new Great Western Express 1970s timetable. They ran quite well, no problem. So. The only ones that they had problems with were the uh, the AI and the extra layers with a um, um, oh god the Munchen Augsburg route, which even on the PC the um, the frame rates dropped really bad, even with the layers on. So. You can't, I'm sorry, your argument's totally rubbish. I mean, we can... We, we could... Um, we can put extra layers to a degree on the munchen Augsburg route via scenario editor, but it the the frame rate will drop a lot i've even had the hack on here before they disabled it where i could have all the services on it running the timetable and everything um and yeah um it kind of did bring the uh, playstation 
Um, it did bring the PlayStation thing, the, the frame frame rate down a bit, and it kind of sound, my PlayStation sounded as though it was a jet taking off for a couple of seconds, but it still ran. I still survived. It didn't crash. But we have to remember that you can't what they turned around and said is that they can't just have something release on the PC and not have it released on a console as well that's what they turned around and said so that's why one reason why there isn't the editor and the problem with the editor is that the amount of crap that, and, that you have to have with the editor you have to have a copy of um, Unreal Engine you have to then have basically DTG's modifications to the engine, what they've done to it, and all those assorted licenses. So that's why we've got what we've got. And there was no, there in, even from the first place where people suggested the editor, there was no way that they'd be able to make that editor like what what they showed, what um, Matt showed on his laptop. How? No, because basically ha this this route, Aus, um, Hapstrack and Munchen Augsburg doesn't run well. Doesn't run well on the PlayStation or the Xbox or the PC. To be honest, but that's not because it's a console limitation. No way is that console limitation. It's not because of console limitation. Sorry. PC players are not losing out. PC players expect to play every single game. If they've got a whiz bang, dogs bollocks PC, they'll want to play every single game at the top notch settings they can get. Okay? Sometimes some games will not do that. It just does not work that way. One of the big problems with this route, Munchen Augsburg, it's not because it's on console, because it's the same on console as it is on the PC. It's because of this. Around this area, how, all these red lights, all these, these lights, these red dots, they're all color light signals. They all have AI coding for them look how many there is here okay just in this area alone i think they said there's over three thousand color light signals all these are all these red dots these are all color light signals they're not point work it's all all point work is automatically controlled so the dispatcher has problems dealing with it but that's not down to a console limitation. That's down to the amount of coding that has gone into all these colour light signals around this area. Literally from from Munchen Augsburg at Munchen uh, Munich, sorry, all the way up to about here. From about this point onwards. Incidentally, this is the only way I can get sixty frames a second. But there you go, you you have no issue playing on your route at 75 frames a second. Ultra settings. But I bet your PC is a lot more powerful than my PlayStation. Of course it is. You know? PlayStations have a... Well, the same with the Xbox. They have a base setting. The PC, you can update it, upgrade it, or whatever. 
but you know the console's system or hardware cannot be upgraded simple as that and no they shouldn't be making a console only version and a pc only version so at the end of the day you know it <sighs> At the end of the day, they just do both both versions the same. You have anything from literally from all I can turn around and say is from from Augsburg all the way down to just before I'll say around about this area I do start it, it just seems okay stable enough but then I start getting problems just that the it sometimes the frame rate drops but at the end of the day that's how it is DTG won't give it to you simple as that they'll set a standard at which they will run console players and pc players will run and that's it and they've turned around and said that they'll set a standard a level it's a decent enough level that you can play your game at 75 frames a second on your ultra pc on your ultra settings with your pc no doubt if i had train sim world on this pc that i've got here then i could probably do it as well but i don't i like i said streaming wise from the pc it's not very good i can't do it because i can't get obs to work so i only capture and create train sim train sim videos which are on this youtube channel everyone wants more graphics graphics space memory whatever to run stuff they want stuff to run it at 1080p 4k or whatever all right but you know your argument a point of it's just the console players holding everything back no it's where they set the level for console players and pc players that they have the same level it doesn't matter whether they're holding it back whether they're doing the 4k you know but, but sorry when they do these new um uh the new version it'd be interesting to see when they do the new versions for um the xbox s and x i can't i can't remember what they are and the ps5 you know i mean you you turned around and obviously you know don't take this the wrong way you're a bit of a console hater because basically you turned around and said crap box and the shite ps5 whatever it is at the end of the day you'll just have to live with it because basically you know it's they're not changing it right i have to get up in the morning i'm really tired and i've still got to do a little bit of work before i go to bed so I mean, at the end of the day, you're entitled to your... Yeah, exactly. The thing is, the console brings the game, brings the money in. Not everybody can afford a dog's bollocks PC. What? No, you're not losing out because they're not... They're not strike, striding to make stuff more you know more powerful for pc players that's it exactly But then that would be like half the PC games. That'd be like 
half the games that like um let's let's shall we say star wars battlefront battlefield call of duty yeah okay whitney the, pro the problem is is that that's your opinion eric okay that's the thing that's your opinion that's your belief that's your opinion brad uh eric but at the end of the day it's down to dtg what they want what they want to do um i mean here i'm running at about 50 40 frames a second Oh, that's cool. Um. Bollocks. But they're a company. They've got to be seen to be making money. Where's my fucking thing gone? There we go. I mean, to be honest, if it was any good for PCs, Microsoft would have carried on with Train Sim at the time instead of ditching Train Sim 2. And this is obviously how that happened, that train soon came along. No, exactly. As far as I'm aware, the prices, the price for Roots and Loco DLC are both across train sim and up to the latest content that we've got now has been the same the roots have always been quite expensive 24 quid so they're not you know they're making money but they don't make a lot of money from the playstation sales or steam sales they still got to pay for the thing to be hosted
if you were to Eric, if you were to put that question to DTG in one of their live streams, they would turn around and tell you they are not pandering to the console market. They are not selling out the PC guys. There's people moaning. Pe Not really. We get exactly the same what you get. Simple as. The end of the day, all I say is that if you have a problem with it, then you take it up with DTG and they will put you straight. Right, anyway, I'm going to have to go. So this will be the end of the stream. So if you've enjoyed it, drop us a like, drop us a sub. Um, you can catch me on the Discord server. Um, I've got to get up for work in about six hours, seven hours. Um, yeah. Uh, so I shall not be streaming tomorrow because um, obviously she's hopefully coming out of hospital. Um, but I shall be streaming again on Saturday. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys on Saturday, normalish time. I'll drop a little note down on Discord and on the YouTube page. Thank you all for popping in, saying hello. And I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it, and I shall uh, try and get a good night's sleep. Stress-free, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, speak to you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.